August 6th. Tough week from a classroom standpoint, a swing and a miss. And Luke is out number two in the first strikeout victim of the game. Percentage that they have to do. Two two successful. pitch to Walls. Did he go? Yes, he did, says the first place umpire, Frank Sylvester. And Barnes has his third strikeout in the early going. Put the ball on the ground with his speed. And it's a lot of infield hits that way. This time, Renwick to second, on to first, and double play. They got him by half a step. Fast. Center field, Deluzio on the run, looking up at the wall, and it's out of here. And Weston Wilson with his fourth homer of the season at an opportune time and a three-run blast here in the fourth. It's 3 nothing Clemson. Lesson. He's like, by the way, did he pitch it or did he coach? Go ahead, go ahead. Oki with a hard shot to left. Brian comes home. A second runner. Renwick will check in a two-run single. And the Tigers move back in front. Five to three. Payoff pitch. Right side. Wilson to second for one. Back to first. Double play. Slow and developing, but they had a slow man on the base pass. And for the second. p.m. to 1 p.m. for tomorrow. Off speed, runner going, Raleigh's throw, skips into center field. And turning and heading on to third goes Oki, the catcher showing that blazing speed. Obviously a dead pull hitter. Off speed pitch, liner to right, that's going to get in for a base hit. Oki scores an RBI for Beer, his 47th of the year. And the Tigers have a 7-3 lead. Side of the infield. And instead he pulls it high and deep to left. Back it goes and out of here. Having himself a day, Chris Oakey, a three-run homer. Well, hard shot second. Wilson, nice diving stop to his feet. Throws, and he got him. And on a ball game in which the Tigers at times rode the roller coaster defensively, Florida State certainly did. Clemson also had some very nice plays, three double plays in the game, and then a uh, gem defensively by Wilson to wrap things up. Just six strikeouts on the year for a guy, granted he only has four home runs, but again, profiles of more of a power guy than anything else. And he goes the other way into right field. Let's see if they send Raleigh. They're going to send the catcher. Beer throw to the plate, and it gets past Oki. But Florida State, a second run here in the inning to take a 3-1 lead. Both Bostic and Crawl with two saves apiece. And there's a liner into left field. It'll drop down, and two runs will score, and Florida State will add to its lead. Making it a 5-2 to two ball game. Seminoles not getting any runs on the board, but it's going to take some craftiness out of the left-hander and a liner beyond the reach of Wilson into right center field. Raleigh will score. They're going to wave the runner, Busby. Here he comes. Wilson cuts the ball off and will be first and third with one man out, but two runs in on the single by Deluzio, his second of the ball game, and the Seminoles build their lead to five runs at 7-2. to two. As you noted, he's a lanky guy. Tigers have some size. We saw the 6-4 Brooks Crawford yesterday. There's one left center field gap. Pinder on the run, and he dives. Did he catch it? He did. What a grab. Chase Pinder in left center field. Reed Roman was converging as well. We saw an A-plus play yesterday by Stephen Wells, the Florida State right fielder. I'm going to tell you, that play by Pinder might have topped that. What a catch. Stay relaxed. 3-1 once again. Pinder this time on his horse going back at the hill looking up and it's gone. John Sansone, his sixth home run of the season gives him 50 RBIs on the year. And Florida State's lead is now 10-2.